Okay guys, I don't have a good uh, camera angle right now, but we just threw the fenders, bumper, and front hood on the car. Now the fenders bolt right up, the bumper, two of the bolts go in, somebody cut all the front end of the car off for the rest, and the hood, the hood hinges are hooked up, but there's no latch. Here's the thing, I actually have hood pins, I could install them, but I don't want to. I want to keep the body looking original, and I really don't want to do hood pins. So let me show you. Also, check this out. Like, what a view. <laughs> it's funny looking in here. It's just like, oh yeah, stock me out on the outside. Kind of crazy when you get under here. Like, here's the front bumper view. It's kind of hilarious. Party on the inside. Okay. So, hood latch. I can get the camera up here. So there's the catch, or the whatever you call that, the loop. We need something to grab it. Now up here, this is the bumper. We have access to this no problem when we open the hood. It's kind of thin, we can reinforce that if necessary. The drain or fill stuff's over there, so we're good in that regard. So we got some room. I've got uh, maybe three fingers of height here, so almost four so we got some room so i started looking i was like okay what could we do to get a hood latch how could we do this uh i ought to go find the factory one and just make sure it doesn't fit but i don't think it fits i will check i guess if it fits that's a good option but i'm going to presume it doesn't fit so i went looking i had one idea hard to explain maybe not imagine a piece of metal with a hook hooked to a motor and when you turn it on the hook grabs that and then turns and holds the hood down and then when you reverse it it does like that and unhooks so i went on amazon looking found a motor that would probably work it would probably fit and then this thing called a rotary catch showed up in the like related search results which is purely hilarious and they had one for like 14 bucks prime delivery beer tomorrow so i clicked it and ordered it it might help but it's compact it looks like it might actually fit there so We'll see what happens with that. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to go see if I can find the factory hood latch. It's probably up in that stuff. Actually, I have this car. Maybe, I don't know if you can. I might see if I can get a tape measure and just measure that one on the blue car. Just to get an idea if we even have enough room to consider putting the factory one back. I presumed we didn't. But there is some space here. So, we'll check. Maybe that, that would be cool. So anyway, that's what we're working on is try to get the... All the panels on the car, we got the trunk lid put on, which is freaking awesome. And the bumper, you can see the, I figured this out. I thought, I thought I lost the pieces that snap on. I just forgot that they're on the fenders, which is hilarious. Cause I spent like 30 minutes looking for those plastic things. And I'm just like, how did you lose those? And it finally dawned on me. I was like, I wonder if they're on the fenders and that's why I can't find it. Sure enough, that's what it was. So the bumper, this bottom section is all loose. So this is kind of luck, but check this out. So there's a hole right here and there's metal right here. So we can probably just build an easy little bracket, like a right angle bracket and bolt to this and bolt to that and have some support here. Potentially could do the same thing here because we got metal. I mean, these are pretty close. So we could probably do something to support that as well. So that's nice. We'll probably whoop up some brackets there. We did notice our fuel cell is running into the bumper right here. Anyway, we'll trim that. We marked it. We threw our fittings in. I found this fitting. We're not going to use this, but I just stuck it on there to kind of check clearances. We need a 90 here, not a 45. But anyway, that's kind of what we're working on is getting the body panels attached. Kind of temporary, but just making sure we have a plan. Uh, we don't have the doors on and... This is, I'm really not a body guy, but I think that before you do like final installation of all of this, I think the doors need to be final installed first. And then basically what the door fits the quarter, then the fender fits the door and the windshield, and then probably the bumper, and then the hood probably adjust last, like move everything around to get that fixed. So it's close now, it's good enough. We're gonna work on this stuff in the front and. See what we can do. Oh yeah, so one other thing. We hooked our shifter up a while back and we put our original downpipe. So we have this heavy exhaust system that would fit the car, but uh, 
I don't want to do that. I really want a side exit exhaust. And I found this turn down. It's kind of a crappy one. It's like not even stainless. It's got a goofy bend. It's not the worst I've ever seen. I need to deburr it. Look at that. But anyway, I found it and I was like, hey, I wonder if that'll work because it's already got a V-band on it. And damn it, the shifter linkage isn't close to hitting, but I ran it through and it doesn't actually hit. Frankly, I would dent it if it did, but uh, that actually worked. So that's our exhaust. I guess when it's running, you'll be blowing exhaust under the car kind of sideways out the driver's side. But that's cool. Nice little easy fix. Part we already had and in the future, We'll probably have it here when we move the turbo to the front of the car, but for now, that was a nice little solution. Didn't have to make anything. We already had that from some previous project. All right, so one of our next projects, our front bumper only had two bolts holding it on and then two plastic clips on either side or one clip on either side. So we're working on this. So this is our member that holds, uh, goes across. That's what our radiator sits in. So I built this bracket, I've only done one side so far, but it's just a 90 degree bracket and we got a couple of holes here, a couple of holes here. I'll show you this from the bottom. There it is. This turned out good enough, simple and light. Got some fender washers on the plastic so that it's got some strength to it. And that really worked. So if we come over to this side where we haven't done our bracket, it's all wiggly over here not that really worked that really tied this together so we gotta do this side now it's gonna be a little more difficult we've already done it once so we got that going for us but the radiator's in the way so i gotta pull that out yay more work but we're gonna do that and uh get this other side built <laughs> all right guys so this is important we were working and we realized that we were feeling kind of tired and what we really needed was some water burger so we went and got ourselves a delicious cheeseburger and some unsweet tea. Now we feel like a million bucks. Oh, and boom, just like magic, we got a second bracket. Just like the first one, fucking great. I can move the bumper. She's doing great. So fantastic. Now we got, I believe that's six bolts holding the bumper right now. And then there's also bolts that go here. I just haven't installed them yet, so that'll make eight. The only thing is this, which a lot of Miatas that are old have that problem. I'd have to do something custom to lift that. Eh, problem for future Pat. So, bumper. Actually, the whole car's moving now. Yep, that's solid. So, good stuff. I will say, and I knew this, we look at it front on, so... There's the oil pan for the transmission, so watch that as I raise the camera. Right there. So the metal's actually lower than this lip, which isn't really what I was going for. I was trying to make them equal, but I think what happened is when I stuck the bumper on here originally, I didn't really have all the bolts in it, and it was kind of sagging. So I ended up putting this lower, and now that I've got the bumper where it goes, it's lifted up a bit. I think that's what happened. It's not a big deal, but we're not gonna have a ton of ground clearance on the front. And we may pay for this later. Uh, worst case, we'll have to redo some of this, but hopefully we can, it's not an issue. But like getting this car on and off the trailer, we're gonna have to watch that. Because if that catches, it's just gonna get torn and destroyed because it's thin aluminum. One of the downsides of making stuff skimpy. Saves weight, but it ain't super durable if it gets beat up. Anyway, bumper is mounted. Good stuff, it's rigid enough. One of the reasons this mattered there's a couple reasons. So one, just generally like, you guys have probably seen old cars sometimes where they don't have all the panels attached correctly and they're like flopping in the wind or moving around or something. So we don't want that. But the other one is, we got we got to do a hood latch. So there's the, the piece up there. <clears throat> We're gonna have to catch it. And we may very well use the bumper to hold the mechanism. I don't love that idea. We'll probably have to reinforce this a little because it is pretty skimpy, but uh, if we're doing that, that means those loads from the hood are going to be transferred to the bumper or whatever. So I just wanted this to be good and secure. Also, really, that's just the answer. I just want it to be good and secure. I don't want things flopping around. So anyway, that's done. Um, I have no idea what's next, but let's figure it out. <laughs> 